my new investment. Oh, a little extreme. Never mind the show. What about the fashions? A little extreme? <laughs> but I think uh, her collection will be the hit of the season. Don't you wish Papa could have been here to see this? Oh, no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> It was my pleasure. Your new line is formidable. Sandrine? Jean-Claude, there's someone I want you to meet. That's strange. Suzanne Addington? Jean-Claude Jacquois. Enchanté. This is Miss Pravin. Hello. Well, what did you think? Oh, this show was fabulous, Sandrine. Oh, yes. Congratulations, Miss Carter. Thank you. Suzanne was a big help. Without her investment, I never would have had my line ready for spring. I know a good business deal when I see one. <laughs> oh, where's Lucine? I didn't see her out there. She never showed. That witch brought me this close to disaster. Lucine Sandrine, star model. Was. She knew the entire finale was staged around her, and I had to take her place at the last minute. I swear, it's the last straw. As far as I'm concerned, she's finished. We must fight evil, no matter where, no matter when, and no matter what the cost. more beautiful than the human body. My designs celebrate that. I want to convey the passion of the body in its most primitive form. Primitive, is that why you use voodoo as a theme for your show? Yes, partly. And I wanted to get your attention. <laughs> You'd make a wonderful subject, Miss German. Perhaps you'd pose for me sometime? I prefer to be on this side of the camera. You should keep an open mind. I am Serge Pasquier. Are you Sandrine's photographer? A photographer takes pictures. I work miracles. I see it hasn't gone to your head. <laughs> Humility is for the mundane. I prefer honest ego. I prefer honesty, period. I didn't know you were interested in fashion. Well, unfortunately, I'm here in an official capacity. <laughs> Miss Carter, I'm sorry to interrupt. What can I do for you? Do you have a model uh, working for you, Lucine Doral? Not anymore. And if she thinks I'm going to bail her out of trouble this time, she can just forget it. Well, she's far beyond help. She's been found dead. Murdered. Any connection between the murdered girl and the fashion house? Not according to the newspapers. Peter is talking to the police now. Where's Suzanne? She went to Sandrine's studio. Apparently, they're inundated with reporters. Uh, so I'm not having my daughter mixed up in the middle of a murder investigation. I doubt if Suzanne would ever run away from a successful business venture. We all know how headstrong she is. Yeah, right. Now, get over there and 
Keep an eye on her. Yes, Miss Abbott. Tell those damn reporters to talk about fashions, not felons. She was a beautiful girl. Yes, sir. Very beautiful. The apple of somebody's eye. Ablation of the heart. Yes. Ablation of the heart. She was still alive when some butcher cut it out. Philippe. According to this, there was no sign of a struggle. The coroner found traces of nerve toxin in her blood. Detrohydrotoxin. Apparently, it renders a victim incapable of moving or crying out, even while remaining conscious. But that's barbaric. I mean, she must have known everything that was going on. Right up until the end. You didn't find the heart? No, it wasn't in the scene. What would somebody do with a woman's heart? Mama's boy. <laughs> no wonder Lucine walked out on you. At least she could get off. You mother! Get down on your knees. Uh. You like to talk dirty, Tara? Let's try this. Uh. Yeah, great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Makeup. Haircut. Now, let's see the real you, Tara. Camera! You fake! Good. You're no talent fake! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Good. Good for more, more. Yeah! Oh, that's nice. Let go. Give it to me now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'll kill you. Oh, yeah. You oh. bastard! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you love it, huh? You love it. Oh. Okay, children, that's a wrap. Okay, it's a wrap. I don't believe you. Is that what you call method modeling? Miss Carter, I'm Peter Sinclair. I'm with Addington International. You work for Suzanne's father? Yes, I'm head of security. I don't like cops. <laughs> Actually, I'm retired. That's even worse. Yes, like a reformed smoker. Miss Carter, doesn't it bother you that one of your models has been brutally murdered? Look, give me a break. I've done nothing but deal with the police ever since Lucine was killed. But can you tell me about her? Friends, acquaintances? No. I understand your photographer, Serge Pasquier, was involved with him. Serge gets involved with all the models he shoots. Including Tara? What do you think? Well, judging from that spectacle, yes. Look, Mr. Sinclair, the personal lives of my models don't interest me. As far as I'm concerned, they're just props, bodies, and faces. Weren't Tara and Lucine friends? Pardon me? What do you mean? Tara was my star model till I signed Lucine on. Tara hated her. Enough to kill her? Why don't you ask her? Yeah, I probably will do that. Have a nice day, Miss Carter. Lady Ed.
had the face of an angel. That's where it stopped. She was into drugs, kinky sex, you name it, she did it. Live fast, die young. Huh? Did you find anything? No, nothing. What about you? Tara came from New York two years ago. She was an instant hit. They liked her clean-cut American look. Ah, oh, judging from what I saw earlier, clean-cut looks is where it stops. Thanks, I'll wager, to Serge Pasquier. Yeah, you may be right. He has some things in his past I'm sure he'd like to forget. Like what? He was arrested in New York on pornography charges. He was married to a woman named Kate Parker, and they got divorced last year. Well, that's interesting. It's the same time that Lucine came into the picture. What about Sandrine Carter? <laughs> Most of what I found was in the fashion news and gossip columns. She likes to be mysterious. Well, that sounds like an irresistible challenge to someone like you. She came from New York four years ago and hit it big in Paris. According to the visa office, she makes frequent trips to Denmark and Sweden. Hmm. Checking that out as well. New York, New York, New York. Can't see a trip. On my way. See where you can dig up. All right. Oh, there's another thing. Yeah? Philip called. JJ. According to the police yes, lab, uh, tetrahydrotoxin is derived from blowfish yeah. venom. From blowfish? Right, I'll see you when I get well, there aren't many of those in Paris. There are tons of them in the Caribbean, in Haiti. It's a local anesthetic that's supposed to lower metabolic rates close to death. Haiti? We're talking voodoo. No, surely not. They don't use human sacrifice in voodoo. No. No, this butcher's up to something else. to be prepared, especially when it comes to your credit. So before you make a big purchase, log on to transunion.ca and get your credit report and credit score. You could get better rates and save hundreds, even thousands. Now isn't that a bright idea? In the 60s and early 70s, everything around us was changing. How we looked, how we dressed, how we felt, how we thought. The songs in this collection were the anthems for those changing times. It started in San Francisco, came of age at Woodstock, and changed us and the world forever. Time Life presents the complete 8-CD Flower Power Collection. Don't you want some? Now you can preview the entire Flower Power collection in your home for 30 days for just $9.95. You'll get 135 original hits by the artists who defined the love generation. But wait, be one of the first 500 callers to order with your credit card and get free shipping and handling. And there's more. Call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card and get the Summer of Love. Two CDs with 40 of the greatest hits from that once-in-a-lifetime summer. So order now with your credit card and enjoy all 10 CDs in your home. You can preview all 175 incredible hits on the Flower Power Collection for 30 days for just $9.95. It started in San Francisco in the mid-60s. 
But before it was all over, music, all kinds of music, was changed forever. Turn the water, shade off and remember, if this isn't the best collection you've ever heard, simply send it back and owe nothing more. But keep the summer of love. It's our way of saying thanks. Call 1-800-658-1083 to preview Flower Power for 30 days for $9.95 when you use your credit card or order online at timelife.ca. Quite a show you and Serge put on today, Tara. Or should I call you Kate? So now you're ready to talk, Miss Parker. How did you know my real name? It pays to have good friends. And I have a particularly good one in the NYPD. Why did you keep your marriage to Serge a secret? Professional reasons. Some designers won't hire a model and a photographer who are married. Including Sandrine Carter? Of course. So that's why she replaced you with Lucine. Boy, that must have hurt. Particularly when Serge did exactly the same thing. What are you getting at? Why, it's been a lucky turn of events for you. Lucine's dead. Once again, you're the top model. Maybe even get your husband back. So I'm lucky. Is it a crime? No. Murder is. Here's the truth, mister. I didn't kill Lucine. But I'm glad she's dead. And if you want to arrest me for that, fine. Otherwise... Just stay out of my life, okay? been a bad boy, Serge. What are you doing here? But I must admit, you make the little whore look great. Don't call her that. Be honest, Serge. Is she really so beautiful? More beautiful than me? Is she, Serge? You're sick. It's a sickness, Serge. We both have it. And there's no cure. Who is this? She's not a model. She's 
She's nothing. Forget her. You better be telling the truth. Very sexy. Can you turn around, please? Can we bring that hem up an inch more? And maybe we should put another band of color around here. Maybe if we made the band thinner. Thinner? Yeah. Yes, that's good. And take this cleavage up a quarter of an inch. We want to tease, not flash. Well, let's yeah. take it from here and see what it looks like. You're the boss. Okay, babe. Show is over. Miss Carter? I'm Gabrielle German. Oh, yes, I know. We've met before. I attended your last show, but we weren't introduced. My photographer said he met you before. Serge Pasquier? He's uh, interesting. Interesting? Yes, that's one word to describe him. Didn't get to know him very well. That was very wise of you. Have a seat. I'm afraid we might have to start this interview with some awkward questions. You mean the murder? Must have been a great shock for you. Lucine was a very beautiful girl. It's always a great tragedy when the world loses youth and beauty. Beautiful or not, the tragedy is the loss of a life. Youth and beauty are life. You seem to put a great deal of importance on them. Not just me, Mr. Grammont. Youth and beauty are important to everybody. You're talking about physical appearance. What about inner beauty? There's no money in it. Let's face it. Cosmetic companies and plastic surgeons make billions every year, proving that inner beauty doesn't matter. Isn't that rather superficial? Oh, yes, I know. The mind, the heart, the soul. Let me show you something. Right now, this is how the world sees you, Miss Germont. The epitome of youth and beauty. Here's how you'll look in 15 years. And in 20? Interesting trick, huh? By the time you're 70, this is how the world will see you. Unless you do something about it, Miss Germont. And you know what? You will, or at least try, because that's human nature. How old are you, Miss Carter? I'm as young as I want to be, Miss Germont. And that is the real secret of beauty. Sir? What do you think you're here for? I'm sorry, sorry. Looking for Manny. Who in the hell are you? This is a close set. Now it's open. Okay, people. Take five. You know what I'm talking about? Take five. Where are my glasses? My glasses?
I know it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it. Let me ask you a question, Manny. Let me give you an answer. Serge Pasquier. Who? Read my lips. Serge Pasquier. Serge Pasquier? He's a big-time photographer now. He lives in Paris. I know that, but he used to work for you. Yeah, he did. He did. He shot some skin flicks for me. But I had to get rid of the slime bag. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. This guy's a psycho. He's in the voodoo. He beats up a couple of bras, brings nothing but heat. So I got rid of him. End of story. What about family, friends? I don't know. He had a sister. Live with her in Harlem. Address? Look at me. Look at me. I look like a post office to you. Manny, I got jet lag. I don't got time to play your games. Address. Whatever happened to weekends at 11:30 in TV Tropolis, the fun never stops. Ah. It just keeps going ah. and going. That was awesome. With a Family Guy marathon. This is gonna be so much fun. All day Saturday, starting at noon in TV Tropolis. It TV lives here. Brought to you by the all-new 2008 Subaru Impreza, the Japanese car the Germans wish they'd made. Are you tired of struggling with embarrassing facial hair? Well, put that tweezer and mirror away, because now it's easy with Tweezy. Tweezy is an amazing breakthrough that not only automatically finds, grasps, and removes unwanted hair, but helps keep hair from growing back for weeks. Guaranteed. The secret is Tweezy's patented technology that attracts hair like a magnet from every angle, so it's virtually impossible to miss a hair. It's 30 times faster than ordinary tweezers. And unlike razors or trimmers that cause ugly stubble, Tweezy removes hair from the root, so you can go for weeks without worrying about unwanted hair. Watch, we used a trimmer on one side of this chin and Tweezy on the other. And look, six weeks later, the Tweezy side is still smooth. There's never been anything like it. If you can feel it, Tweezy can remove it. I used to use trimmers every day, but I used Tweezy on my lips six weeks ago, and it's still smooth. Sometimes it's hard to see if I got all the hairs on my face. But with Tweezy, I have confidence that all my embarrassing hairs are gone, and it lasts for weeks. Tweezy is portable, safe, and gentle. Use Tweezy to remove unwanted hair around your chin, lip, underarms, legs, feet, and more. At last, you can have a beautiful bikini line, no more razor burn, no more waxing, electrolysis is expensive, and plucking takes forever, but Tweezy is easy. You will never have to worry about unwanted hair again. But wait, call within the next 10 minutes and you'll get MJoy's soft and silky cream. Imagine that's a $60 value all for only $19.95. I guarantee Tweezy is the best way to remove unwanted hair for weeks or your money back. Just remember, if it's easy, it's Tweezy. Call now. Order Tweezy for $19.95 plus shipping and handling. But if you phone in the next 10 minutes, we'll also include MJoy's Soft and Silky Cream, a $20 value absolutely free. You'll only be charged shipping and handling. Call now. What do you have, kid? Uh, I saw you sign up front. <laughs> you want a job? I was thinking of someone a little older. I can clean dishes or kid. mop. Shouldn't you be playing hockey or something? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. For Tara, it's the same ammo as for Lucine Doral. She had a heart get out. I bet you'll find traces of detrohydrotoxin in the blood. You know, if I were you, old pal, I'd haul Serge Pasquier in for a quiet quad. 
Peter, if you know something... He and Lucinda Ral were lovers. And he used to be married to her. Had I been picked up for questioning? Why did we think of that? Philippe! Please let me know. Oh, that girl, that girl. I'll call you when we get him. Yeah, well, please don't forget this time, okay? Trust me. Inner beauty doesn't matter. Youth and beauty is important to everybody. Youth and beauty are life. been a pretty rough trip, Stone. Look a little ragged around the edges. Well, I had a talk with some of Serge's old buddies from the dirty movie biz. Oh, yeah? And what did you find out? Not the kind of guy you want dating your sister. Likes beating on women. Oh, that fits. Man's also into voodoo. Voodoo again, huh? Oh, well, the police are out looking for him now. Not finished. Traced him all the way up to Harlem. Man lived with his sister. His records didn't say anything about his sister. What have you got on her? Zip. No papers, no license, no social security, nothing. What about a description? Neighbors said she was small, pretty, a couple years older than her brother. Peter? Yes? The police called. They are taking Serge Pasquier to headquarters. Oh, great. I'm on my way. Look, Stone, when you get in, when you get over to Brigade Criminal, by the time you get there, we may have some interesting news. Well, signed confession would be interesting news. Oh. Elena, did you get uh, that information from Sweden? Not yet. I'll call again. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to get some more details on Sandrine's little junkie. Yeah, speaking of Sandrine, you know, it'd be a good idea if you paid her another visit. Yeah, Stone's description of the sister. Yeah. She knows more than she's letting on. See what you can find out. Oh, and Gabrielle. This time, would you mind keeping in touch? I don't I always? Miss Previn, perhaps you'd be kind enough to explain to Miss Germont how to use the phones. <laughs> she knows I'm here. Who knows? That's all I've gotten out of him since that bloody man. Where was he? In his studio. The place is filled with voodoo junk. And the lab's running some tests on some substances. She knows I'm here. Who knows, Serge? You're Zilly. El Zilly. She says everything. Who is El Zilly? She's calling me. Just calling. Just calling. But where is Ali? We'll not tell them. You must be on something. Tell her I didn't do it. Who's that, Sealy? She's here. She's here, watching us. Keep her away from me. Keep her away from me. Oh, 
Oh, my papa. My papa, sister, she knows. Oh, Mary, full of grace. I tried to resist, but she won't let me go. I think you better get him downstairs. Pray for us, sinners. God, for sinners. Now and at the hour of our... Amen. Looks like a confession to me. Every day on Lone Star Cinema. Of course, most of the men had to go off to war, so the Schneider's plant started hiring women, and that's when I started there. The first thing I was told was that if something wasn't good enough to be served to your family, then it didn't go out of the plant. That was the golden rule, plain and simple. At Schneider's, we're still committed to the same high standards in everything we make. Because after all... You can taste the difference quality makes. Over the next five years, there will be 1.2 million new jobs in the fields of healthcare, technology, business, education, trade, and others. This can be a great opportunity for you because thanks to ICS, International Career School, Canada's largest accredited school of independent study, you could train for one of these jobs in as little as six months. Study at home, online, in print, or a combination of both. You decide which method best suits your learning style. All the materials are delivered directly to you and included in your tuition. At ICS, you study independently, but not alone. Expert faculty and support staff are just a phone call or email away. ICS also offers customized monthly payment plans with 0% financing. And when you graduate, take advantage of ICS career services. Get access to job searches, interviewing tips, we'll even help you write your resume. Call now or visit us online to choose any of these healthcare programs. Medical office assistant, medical transcription, retail pharmacy technician, occupational therapy aid, animal sciences, or one of our other programs, accounting, business management, legal assistant, electrician, automotive technician, aircraft mechanics, interior decorating, teacher aid, child daycare management. You can even earn your high school diploma. For over a century, ICS has made it possible for people to get a promotion or even start a new career. Get the training you need for the job you want. Don't wait. Call ICS Canada now for free information. There is no obligation and the call is free. Here are those programs again. Call 1-800-231-2816 or visit icslearn.ca. Ask about our tuition scholarship offer. That's 1-800-231-2816. Call now. Miss Carter? I wanted to go over some more material with you. Miss Carter? Good to see you again, Miss Grimont. Where did you come from? I've been here all along. Did I frighten you? No, I was just startled. I understand you want information for your article. I wanted to verify some interesting facts I discovered about your past. And what might that be? I understand you once lived in Harlem. I don't like to dwell on the past, Mr. Grimald. I find the future far more interesting. Don't you? Voodoo. Old Serge was really into his voodoo.
to eat. You make it this. Looks like some kind of French, but I'm damned if I can decipher it. Oh, yeah, that's Creole. Uh -huh. This one has something to do with serving the spirits. And this one? Oh, this one is, I think, called the Mysteries, but I'm no expert. Found this in the dark room. I think it's good. It was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Lucine. Did that wrong? Yeah. Oh, she was a pretty girl. <laughs> that was a little bizarre. What's this? Voodoo science. Stone. What do you think? Well, when we got Papa Doc's boys out of Haiti, they had gizmos just like this. Thought it protected them from the spirits. Why would Serge be protecting the models from himself? Looky, looky, looky. Seems we arrested the madman just in time for Miss Germo's sake. Yeah, so it would seem. Well, I have to meet Serge's landlord downtown. OK, well, we'll hang on here, if you don't mind. Suit yourself. If you find anything, let me know. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Do you think Serge killed those women? Serge? That's impossible. The police have taken him in for questioning. I don't think they'll learn much. I can understand you protecting him. I would probably do the same for my brother. <laughs> Serge, my brother? I'm an only child. It would be a lot easier if you just cooperated. Sooner or later, the police will find the truth. The truth? Do you really want to know the truth, Miss Grimaud? Photos. Looks like the family album. Yeah. Writing's in Creole, but I, guess I can understand the dates. Ah, it's one of Sandrine. Promo shots from the fashion show. Yeah, but check out the date. It's almost ten years ago. Age as well. Seventy-two. Whatever this lady's got, she ought to bottle it. 1960. No way. She looks better today than she did 30 years ago. I don't believe this. Serge isn't Sandrine's brother. He's her son. Answer me. Answer me. Answer me. 
Answer me, Orzini. Answer me now. Answer me. This is for real. This is the greatest thing since white bread. Yeah, Helen. I can't raise Gabrielle. Have you heard from her? Not a word, but that information she wanted just came from Sweden. Well, about the uh, special junket? Yes. Um, she was apparently traveling to some private clinics that specialize in anti-aging treatments. And Peter, Sandrine Carter has been taking glandular injections for the past 20 years, especially a formula called DHE. DHE? I thought that had been banned for years. Yes, it is in most places, and for good reason. It has terrible side effects, including insanity. We're on our way to the showroom. Rosili is the voodoo goddess of beauty, Miss Germont. I serve her, and in return, she gives me reward of eternal youth.
really strange. I couldn't move. I couldn't even speak. I couldn't, I couldn't feel the pain. But I was aware of everything, everything. I was trapped. Well, if that antidote hadn't arrived from Zurich on time, you'd never have escaped that trap. Oh, it's hard to believe the extent of Sandrine's madness. It's easy to get there when you take an idea to its extreme. Glad you made it back. That goes for all of us. Oh, it, it's lunchtime in Los Angeles. You promised to call Suzanne. What's she doing in L.A.? She has a new investment. Oh, no, not another fashion designer. Uh, worse than that, the film business. Simply can't put her money into anything safe. She probably takes after her father. Remember, the apple never falls far from the tree. What do you mean she's in a meeting? I suppose we'd all like to stop the clock, keep nature from taking its course. But as long as we do, there will always be those who are willing to profit from it.